Many people have seen radar and tornado warnings shown on TV or YouTube, but what most people don't understand is how to properly identify a tornado solely based on its radar. In today's video, we will be focusing on three things, reflectivity, velocity, and correlation coefficient using a high resolution radar app called Radar Scope. First off is reflectivity. How reflectivity works is the radar sends out a beam and things like rain, hail, or other precipitation will reflect that beam back to the radar at different intensities, hence the name reflectivity. The green, yellow, and red colors likely indicate light to heavier rain, while some of the pink colors could contain hail or even lofted debris. In strong tornadoes or supercells, the reflectivity will form a hook shape called a hook echo. If at the end of the hook there is a strong reflectivity of pink colors, then we can guarantee there is likely a very strong tornado lofting debris into the air. This scenario is rare and most tornadoes occur with little to no hook echo visible. Velocity gives us a much better picture into where a tornado may be within the storm. Velocity shows the winds inside of a thunderstorm that we can't see with normal radar. Green shows wind moving towards the radar's location, and red is wind moving away. When we have tight areas of green velocities next to red, moving in a counterclockwise fashion, it can indicate a tornado, or at least rotation, is present. And obviously, the brighter blue and yellowish colors indicate very strong velocities, which increase the likelihood of a tornado being in progress. Using velocity, we can more confidently chase into high precipitation environments while still being safe. Even with velocity though, radar is often delayed a couple of minutes, so caution is always prioritized when debating driving into rain curtains to find the tornado within. When we see rotation on radar, there is one way we can 100% confirm that a tornado is on the ground. That is by using correlation coefficient, or CC for short. What CC does is reflect back the size and shape of things lifted into the atmosphere. Notice how the entire storm here is the normal red slash orange color, but then in one spot we have a bright blue and black area of high CC reading. This display is showing us debris that has been lofted into the air and the CC is spiking up in this region. Now, CC isn't always the most reliable, but when a circular CC drop like this matches up with our tight area of rotation, it means with almost certainty that we have a tornado on the ground, and probably a strong one at that. So my best advice from here is to try it yourself from home. Anytime you see a video or checking your own radar watching active tornadoes, look for these indications and see if you can get it correct. As always, practice makes perfect. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all stay safe out there. Peace out.